Right. So uh, what we discussed uh, yesterday, uh, of course, day before yesterday, we discussed about a business situation, especially in reference to the uh, healthcare organization, either it can be an insurance provider or a payer, as, in, as the example what we have taken. So for that, the very first thing is about RFP, because request or proposal, where uh, whoever wants us to develop the project, usually they will be releasing as the RFP document, which majorly focusing on the business problem high level, rules and regulations, timelines, expected outcome. At the same time, whatever the technical assumptions they have, right? So what are the technical uh, expectations, right? So I'm talking about technical expectations. So technical expectations, right? So all these things will be mentioned under the RFP document. So generally based on the RFP documentation, project management planning report has to be prepared. Normally what customer will ask us, see for example, as whenever we take this project into an ex example, customer wants some member management system to be developed, right? That's what we have taken, right? And member yeah. management application wants to develop. First, they release the RFP. So based mm -hmm. on the RFP document, people who are eligible will be participating on the bidding, okay? Right? Participating mm -hmm. on the bidding. Now here, there will be two criteria, right? So first of all, let me explain with this criteria, but then I'll get into that. There will be two criteria. One is financial criteria. Second is a technical criteria. Financial criteria. Second is a technical criteria. Now, what is meant by financial criteria? Financial criteria means uh, vendor, whoever uh, is, uh, whoever wants to participate, wants to participate in bidding, should have uh, some XYZ, right? So some XYZ turnover in last uh, three to four years. I'm just giving the rough figure ending, right? So I'm not giving the actual thing, right? So, so business is, uh, you know, this is a, uh, I mean, uh, expectation, right? The... Ah, no, nah, criteria, criteria. We talk okay. about criteria, okay. criteria. Because like, for example, we have a vendor, right? So for example, we are software company. Okay, right, for example. So against to the RFP document of the customer, what they have submitted, what they have given. So we need to participate in the bidding. Okay, for example, right, we want to participate okay. in the bidding. So for, to participate in the bidding and all, there will be two criteria. Apart from business problem expected, et cetera, et cetera, there will be two things. So one is about financial criteria. Second is a technical criteria. So financial criteria means what customer asks you, customer will say you, a person whoever wants to participate in the bidding should may, should be having this much of turnover. Some X, Y, Z amount, right? So this much of turnover in last three years or four years. Because means, assume that people, whoever is participating in the, uh, in the bidding process should have an active state of company because active state, company should be in active state right that was the major criteria behind financial submitting the financial details i'll tell you the reason behind that let's say for example uh, because of course we have to encourage uh, newly startups also but end of the day in reality uh, if a customer wants to uh, provide any uh, project to for, for any customer and for any vendor, all that. So basically they see the technical criteria and financial criteria also. They'll see mm -hmm. because they have to make sure uh, this, how big the organization is, how big the organization structure is, whether are they able in a position to complete this project or not. So they want to know, right? Which is common, mm -hmm. you know that, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. on what basis you will be knowing it, you will be knowing it being a customer or a client you will be knowing based on the financial criteria, whatever the financial criteria we see. This is where generally financial criteria come into picture. So financial criteria in terms of the turnover. Turnover of mm -hmm. a particular organization, whoever wants to participate in the bidding. So and so turnover, 
in last three to four consecutive years. Three or four or five or two, whatever it is, right? So average, average, average I am giving three to four years, right? This uh -huh. is one criteria. Second is a technical criteria. What does it mean by technical criteria means? Technical criteria means vendor, whoever wants to participate in the bidding should have uh, experience in developing, right? Uh, what sort of project ours is uh, member management application, right? In developing healthcare applications in last uh, three to four years, right? In addition to that, sometimes what customer will uh, customer will uh, uh, customer will expect is that four years, hmm. right? So in addition to that, sometimes they will they will also see size of the organization also size of the mm -hmm. organization to whom are we going to uh, have we given the uh, solution? Okay, size of the organization also matters because let's say for example. Uh, vendor is a person having a small company. Let's say that, right? So whether it is not small or big, end of the day potentiality, technically speaking. But end of the day, what usually criteria whenever we see in general notice that person, whoever wants to participate, vendor wants to participate, they have to meet the financial criteria apart from the technical criteria also. Technical criteria means this particular some XYZ vendor should complete at least one, two, three successfully healthcare projects earlier for so and so, so and so client. Because sometimes what they ask, they will ask you the references also. Okay. Understood, mm -hmm. madam? Clear or not? Yeah. They yeah. will ask yes. you the references. Because end of mm -hmm. the day, there must be a reality and there must be an evidence is required, right? So because, so, see, because see, if you don't put conditions, what will happen? Everybody will come and participate in the bidding, right? Everybody in the participate. So end of the day, what was the final final goal here? We have to give a project to the customer in such a way where this customer must be a quality person. Understood? Clear or not? Right? Uh -huh. Quality yes. person, the right person we have to give. On what per on what basis right person we de we see on a high level note? Two things. One, the organization must be a standard organization, a successful organization. This is one criteria. Second criteria, they must have experience in developing healthcare applications, AJS applications like member management, or it can be claims related stuff or education, whatever it is, right? So either it can be patient management, whatever the applications. These people should have experience in developing these sort of applications. So so and so, so and so, XYZ customers. So these are the two criteria which normally will be taken into consideration. Clear? Oh. Right or not? Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, after that, generally, this you know that right project management part, right? So everything I have given to you. Now, in addition to that, in addition to that, client will expect us. Client will expect us to submit the quotation. Submit that. Quotation. This is what I am talking about. Financial quotation. I am talking about. Right? Understood, madam? Listen. Yes, yes. Yeah. Financial quotation, right? Because you are eligible. For example, uh, there were uh, five people have seen the RFP document. Out of five, three people were eligible as per the criteria which was mentioned on the RFP. Apart from the business problem, etc. All that, right? So three people were accepted. Three people were eligible. So these three people should come up with a detailed project management plan report, which I have discussed in the day before yesterday session, right? So these are all, lot many things will be there. End of the day, we need to come up with a proper plan, right? So what is that we want to do? How we do? What strategy we follow? What kind of model is something, um, something, uh, um, something we are expecting this application to develop, right? So all these things, they should come up with a project management plan. Now, here, if you remember, 
last session also I told you, sometimes customer will give you the budget. Sometimes customers say, so and so XYZ is my budget limit. So can you develop the solution or not? Right? This is one area. Yeah, one true. Yes. This is yeah. one set. Yeah. Some customers will be like this. Mm -hmm. Some customers, they will tell you the problem. They'll give you an RFP document where all the high level uh, technical uh, problem, right? So what business problem, everything is mentioned there. Business problem, right? Business problem will be mentioned there. Now, customer will ask us to submit the financial quotation by the vendor. Because, for example, if you are developing the project or, for example, XYZ is a organization who is going to develop the project, end of the day, they expect some return of investment out of it, right? So some return of profits out of it. So they have to calculate how much time will it be taken, right? So what will be the expenses, right? So all that. So this is where generally financial quotation come into picture. Normally, this financial quotation will be of two types. One is fixed bid. One is fixed bid. Second is FT, which stands for full-time employment, right? Fixed bid. Fixed bid means, for example, XYZ is a vendor for example right one example yes, xyz yes. is a vendor so what you do by considering the high level business requirements what customer has given all this based on the project management plan report because as you know project management planning report will be will be involved by everyone right so even project manager mm -hmm. will be involved in it architect technical team business analyst team right so all these people will be put together and they discuss about the possibilities, right? So how to go further, all that. So based on that, they come up with some budget, right? So in fixed bid, vendor will give a budget, right? Budget to the customer or to the client. Okay. Yeah. This is where generally fixed bid, fixed budget is. Right, fixed budget, fixed budget to the client. For example, uh, I am give, just giving you uh, 20,000 USD. Mm -hmm. Rough figure, I'm just giving the rough figure. Okay, mm -hmm. USD $20,000 is what I am charging, right? And custom, yeah. what, what is that they are issuing in $20,000? Whatever the project management planning report which was given to you, whatever was mentioned in this based on the observation what we had. So we are ready to complete the project in 20,000 USD. Okay. Yeah. But make uh -huh. sure uh -huh. if you are going for fixed bid, make sure your project management planning report strategy execution must be so accurate. If it does not happen, what will happen? It may go up, it may go, it may go down to break even. Sometimes it may land it under the losses also. Yeah. And the reason why sometimes if you remember when when we industry we speaks usually project is successful but it's cost failure project we call it as cost failure cost failure means cost overrun simple then budget yeah. means ah then budget right so budget was twenty thousand yeah. whatever we have spent was twenty five thousand dollars for some reason whatever the reason can be it can be due to because of the uh, in, uh, proper uh, improper uh, implementation of the project planning right so that everything everything matters in it right this is the thing yeah. uh -huh. but here uh -huh. yeah. whenever we go for fixed bit there will be some condition we put what was that make sure whatever the requirements you have given based on that this is 20,000 USD okay 20,000 uh -huh. USD uh -huh. if requirements were changed terms and conditions apply so mm. if you have not put this, what will happen? Why do, how, how can you guarantee that customer will change? We do, don't change the requirements. Can you give any guarantee for that? There is um, no guarantee, right? See, end of the day, see why customer is expecting you to develop some member management application for the benefits of sex budget reason. Am I right? right? So can it be the same even in future also? Maybe next coming two, three months? Right. Yeah. So might be situation might be changed. There may be required some additional features and functionalities to be developed by us. So if you have agreed without knowing all these, what will happen with the same cost? You have to spend some extra man hours to complete that. Or sometimes that even that manner also, the project will be under the break-even or in the losses as well. Yeah. 
Do you understand? Correct. Yes or no? Right? Yes. So yes, fixed yes, rebate. Yes. So, but when whenever we are going for fixed rebate, because cost, every cost will be calculated, you know, right? So salaries will be calculated, mm -hmm. point number one, miscellaneous expenses, yeah. point number two. At the same time, infrastructure cost. Infrastructure means infrastructure cost means the kind of systems and the workstations what people are using for the projects usually. Even that cost yeah. also will be included in it, right? Infrastructure cost. And licenses. One more major, major expenses are licenses. Let's say that healthcare application we are developing. So assume that there are three layers in the application. You know it, right? Presentation mm -hmm. layer, business logic, data layer. So you require some user interface designs to prepare so that you require some uh, HTML, right? DHTML, PHP, right? So you require some Java, right? Program. Of course, Java is an open source kind of, but you require some database Oracle you are using, some third party tools you are using, right? So everything is paid, right? So you did not see there are only two things. One is open source, second is paid tools. One is open source, second is paid tools. But when customer has given an RFP, I must tell you this point. Customer will always put a point stated, stated that whatever the software we are working on the project must be a licensed software. It shouldn't be an open source. Okay. For small projects, it is excused. It, right? So for small projects, mm -hmm. it is excused. Right? So I am not getting into that. Right? For small projects, any uh, local projects when we do, there is a possibility. But whenever we deal with international projects and all, there is a point where we mention, what was that? Customer will mention the point in such a way. When you are developing the project and all, licenses software has to be used for everything. Mm -hmm. For everything, there will be a licenses software. Now, here is a question. You could ask me, Raj, who is going to pay for that? Right? Because in 20,000 USD, uh, is it something feasible for a vendor to buy licenses for the project? Right? May Correct. Not be. Yes. It's May not may be. Not be. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though if I have purchased it, I am not, there is no guarantee that these licenses will be used for the next project. Right? Maybe mm -hmm. I am using Java now. I may be required some other uh, technology to be used for my next project. So, yeah. I am developing a project, a vendor is developing a solution for a customer. Customer. So, what is that we do? Whenever we are proposing this, we will make it very clear. Whenever we are calculating the budget, there is a condition usually applies that licenses software has to be borne by the customer. Customer. Customer has to buy the licenses, provide to us, so that we develop the application followed by the subsequently Along with the project, all the software infrastructure applications, licenses, and all everything will be given back. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? So this? all the project expenses uh, should include in the overall budget. Project, ah, project expenses yeah. will be included, but I am talking about licenses, software, cost, everything. Okay. Licenses are all also included. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. See, at the end of the day, licenses software, but license software we normally exclude it. Normally, I'll tell you, whenever mm -hmm. we calculate the budget. I am writing salaries, okay? Salaries will be mentioned, whatever uh, salaries we are paying for employees. Next, uh, uh, operational expenses. Right? There will be some operational expenses will be there, right? Right? It will yeah. be there. Operational expenses will be there. Next, license software. Software licenses will also be there, but for, subject to condition, software licenses has to be bought by the customer, usually. Otherwise, it is not feasible for anyone to develop the projects. Now, etc. Right? So, software licenses, etc. All these are the costs which is involved when we are working on the project. Okay. Now, the reason why I must tell you this, because nowadays, if you see most of the projects, we are moving towards cloud environment. You know that. Whether it can be AWS or it can be Azure, anything. Right? It can be Google Cloud, it can be IBM. So we are moving towards cloud environment, cloud site, cloud applications we are developing. Why? Because, see, when you talk about a licensed software, even if you want to develop an application, being a vendor, if you are a vendor, to develop the application, you require some licensed software. Even to develop the application, you require some infrastructure, hardware and hardware infrastructure to 
you are required to develop the application. Am I right? Or right? Yeah. yeah. End of the day, it's not only for development. Once you have de deployed and delivered it to the customer, customer should also burn the same infrastructure cost as well as the software cost in future. Because if they want to manage their applications in future for their business activity, for business process activities, all that, end of the day, they have to manage the infrastructure, means firewalls, routers, right? So all the workstations they have to maintain, right? Every time they have to go for renewal of the softwares, they have to go all these. This is the cost which is involved. This is where generally we call it as operational cost involved in it, in reality, mm -hmm. okay? Earlier, it is different. But nowadays, what is happening, see, getting expert manpower to manage the infrastructures and all everything is becoming challengeable because getting the right persons for these sort of profiles are also becoming limited day by day. Yeah. Second, even though people are available, it is an expensive thing because infrastructure mm -hmm. maintenance, right? So you need to secure your data uh, by protecting from malware attacks, all that. At the same time, every time you need to go for software, licenses has to be renewed, right? So, for example, license cost has increased by the uh, vendor, right? So, product uh, product owner. Automatically, you have to bond to that, right? So, because you cannot negotiate on that. But there is no guarantee, yeah. right? So, it is, there is no guarantee. So, yeah. especially for large-scale organizations, larger enterprises can manage. But nowadays, the situation was not that, right? So, because new startups were coming nowadays, right? Mm. Middle organizations are there. So, managing all these infrastructure is becoming a challenge. The reason why nowadays cloud service providers came into existence. Cloud service providers came into existence. I will give you an example. Let's say that you have a company called Jet. You have a company called Jet. You are a software services company, yours is, which was started recently by you and some of your friends who are as experienced in the field of IT as you have respective experience in your professional fields. Hence, you have started. You have an intellectual property, intellectual property, technical skills, everything is there with you now. Now, you know how to develop the application. Technically, you guys were very strong. But end of the day, as it is a startup company, you may not have that much monetary funds with you. Do you agree? Right? To yeah, manage sure. them. Usually, that is, uh, that's common for you. So, but still, you guys were expertise in terms of the technology, whatever is required for the customers nowadays in the industry. Now, how come it's, it's, uh, it's possible? The reason why, what is that we can do? When we want to develop the application, there are some cloud service providers came into existence nowadays. So cloud pro service providers means like AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services, right? AWS at the same time, Azure, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud. These people came into market. So what okay. is that these people do? These people provide three kind of services. Normally, cloud service providers are provide cl uh, cloud service providers will provide three services. Why I'm saying all this? Because nowadays on-premise application importance is coming down day by day, if you remember, mm. if you see. Yeah. The reason I'm explaining this, because uh, earlier it was all on-premise applications, even till now. Even mm -hmm. whenever we are working on migration projects, if you see many migration projects, we are migrating to legacy applications to cloud applications only. We are not mm -hmm. developing any on-premise. We are developing mm -hmm. a cloud applications. We are moving on. So cloud application means cloud service providers are there. Means something like AWS, as I told you, right? Azure, mm -hmm. big companies are there. There were mm -hmm. even medium level companies also. Okay, end of the day, cloud service. What these people do? These people provide three services. One we call it as IWS, PWS, SWS. Means... Oh. First, they provide infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service means whoever wants 
wants to develop an application or a solution, what it is, okay, application or a solution, a required infrastructure will be provided, will be provided. This is pay based on the usage. Whatever we are using, for that only we are paying. Understood, madam? Clear? Yeah. Right. yeah. Infrastructure. Infrastructure means, as I told you, right? Routers, firewalls, these are all expensive. At the yeah. same time, you require some infrastructure architect. For example, you are developing application, an on-premise application, required all these people. Right? You require some infrastructure architect. You need to hire the people. So, they are expensive. You require some platform architect. Again, they are expensive. Right? So, this is something... Uh, difficult nowadays, as I told you. Right? So, because earlier, see, I'll tell you the reason one more. Earlier, there were very good profits, especially for software industry. But now, due to the competition and expectations, easily available services and all, now profits were not so big as it is earlier. Came oh. down. Right? So, so, even organizations should also sustain in the market, right? So even how big the organization, if it is working for four or five years successfully, if there is any recession came for two, three years, they're finding problem because of the mm -hmm. op, op, un, un, uncontrollable operational cost right? and other reasons also. So the okay. reason why infrastructure as a services will be provided, right? So whoever wants to develop an application or whoever wants to use the application after that, if anybody okay. wants any infrastructure services, cloud service providers will provide. So who okay. are they? As I told you, AWS and ACP. Yeah, yeah. Right. So these are two cloud service providers. And these service providers give you give you the space, give you the space where mm -hmm. infrastructure will be provided. Everything, whatever the required infrastructure, they will provide. So whatever they are providing, further they'll take rent. Simple in simple terms, I can say they take rent for the services you are using their services. Okay, you are paying rent for that. This is IW. Even GCP in also in included in this, right? Sorry, uh, GCP Google Cloud Platform also. Ah, yeah, Google yeah. Cloud. Okay. Google Cloud. GCP, yeah. Google Cloud services, right? So mm. these are all service providers, right? So because it depends on the kind of cost what they were charging depends on our interest which cloud service provider we are choosing that is the organization's interest our interest okay. right so because okay. based on but our this interest, is not decided based... by the customer right uh no normally not normally not okay. because we are developing services but see i'll tell you the reason we keep customer also into account because end of the day once you have deployed and delivered it to the customer what will happen end of the day that application has to be uh, managed by the customer yes. itself right yeah yeah so oh. when we are taking cloud service services from any of the cloud service provider it's a valid point we consider mm. this also mm. because end of the day see we initially for development developing an application we are paying to the customer okay once the project is developed once we deployed and de delivered it to the customer Licenses will be given to the user, uh, credentials will be given to the customer. Now, for example, customer is using 300 licenses. They require mm -hmm. 300. For example, this application is being used across different places in the organization by 300 people. So how many user licenses they have to take? 300 user licenses. Am I right? right? Yeah. So again, the 300 user licenses depends on the kind of role, what they are managing, whatever the roles and responsibilities, what services they use, again, will be varied. Yeah. Operational cost, even for customer also there. So hmm. normally when it comes to the clouds, which cloud service provider are we using? By keeping customer into consideration, whenever we are fixing the budget, this is also one of the criteria. Yeah. Because end of the day, this cloud service provider should provide a quality services to us, not only for us, even for the customer also. Plus, at the same time, cost must be competitive. Both, right? Both hand in hand. Okay. Understood? Clear or not? Yes. yes. So, yes. this is infrastructure as a service. Second, platform as a service. 
platform as a service. Means, if we want to develop an application, we require a platform to develop that, which will be provided by the service providers. Understood, madam? Clear? Right? Uh, application or require a platform. Hmm. Because okay, if so... you want to develop the application, you require a platform, right? For example, you are constructing a building. Okay. Uh, what is that yeah. you require? So place we required and uh, okay. you know, basement maybe... is needed. Yeah. You require a basement, am I right? You require hmm. the platform yeah. is required. On that, hmm. uh, we are constructing a building, right? Hmm. Hmm. So this depends on the size of the building we are constructing, type of the building, different, yeah. different reasons, right? If it's a commercial building, where we are constructing, then it is different. If it's a residential building, that will be different. Again, depends on the geographical location which that place located. Your platform will also vary because there will be some areas where uh, it's more uh, geographically affected from time to time due to the uh, due to the natural calamities, all that. Am I right? All that, right. So these are all the external factors will be taken to taken into consideration to create a platform to construct a building. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. In the yes, same correct. manner, whenever you are developing an application, we have to see what sort of application we are developing. Let's say, for example, e-commerce kind of projects we are developing. There will be more traffic. There will be more traffic because n number of people, thousands and lakhs of people across the world will operate, will use the application at the same time in different parts of the location. So your application, the kind of application we are developing such in such a way, it should be strong enough where it should not have any kind of difficulties in future while people are using the applications. Uh -huh. Do you got my point? Clear or not? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So platform is also important. So platform services will also be provided by the cloud service providers. So do we have any examples for this pass? I mean platform as a service like are uh, we using any applications in the market for ex example because there is no uh, certain applications which normally we use first because uh, applications and all everything will be varied from organization to organization it will not be the same for all the people okay because applications and all everything will be varied right so it will not be the same for all the applications and all that okay it can be of any application right it can be any application because you know, because we we need to we need to maintain the infrastructure right based on the infrastructure and all everything we use even platform also in that because infrastructure and as less platform and all everything were interconnected because when you have an infrastructure when you are managing you require platform also okay understood or not yeah some <laughs> Did not understand like for the second one actually. The first one is like a storage. So yeah. based on the storage we use, but oh, oh, the pass I did not understand completely. Yeah. Samsung Platform means like software. software. See, yeah. Uh -huh, achha, achha. So you are asking what software are there? Yeah. See, yeah. Platform yeah. means uh, I am talking about uh, database and all like Database oh, okay. and all that, right? Oracle, SQL, right? These are all okay. the platforms. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, the, for example, I'll tell you. For example, we are developing an application. Application will have three layers. Okay. Uh -huh. The first layer is called presentation layer. First one is called presentation layer. Second one is called business or logic layer. Third is called data layer. Understood? Presentation yeah. layer, what you see on the screen, this is what we call as presentation layer. For example, HTML. On the user screen. Ah, user screen, right? All these okay. are the two te technologies. Okay? Mm. Business mm -hmm. logic layer here, we develop a logic for a business 
functionality by writing code okay. using either it can be java it can be python etc understood madam clear yeah correct yeah right so this is business logic layer in between 1 plus 2 equal to 3 how you got this there is a logic for addition of two numbers was written by the developer which you yeah. cannot see you can see only the result you cannot see the functionality um, whatever the logic they have written right it will be in back of it back of the system right okay right. yeah again yeah. this will be written on three two areas one is in the client side systems second is the server side also hmm. understand clear yeah yeah so client side server side for example you are working for a company organization hmm. where you have a server which was located in your premises, on-premise. It's an intranet application. It's not internet, intranet, within the premises. Yeah, intranet, yeah. Inter, intranet, intranet. It's not, internet means you require internet. Intranet, yeah. within the premises. Mm -hmm. So you are accessing that web, you are accessing the server which was located within your uh, premises. Through LAN, you are accessing it, you are, you are accessing the application and you are using it. Am I right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Whatever the layers I am talking about, the three layers, these three layers must be there in the server side. It must be there in the client side also. Am I right? Yeah. So correct. whenever whenever a developer is writing a program, he has to write a program in the client side also. At the same time, he has to write the programming in the server side as well. Mm -hmm. Do you got my point? Clear? Yeah. 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 So business logic layer. Third is a data layer. Means to Develop the application, we require a database, right? So database, example, Oracle, MySQL, etc. right? So these are the different, different databases we require. Why? Because whatever the data we are providing, this data will store where, where this data will store, all this will data will be stored in the data database am i right yes sir yeah right? correct from yes. there from there generally writing sql queries and all that we extract the data and we generate report etc when and wherever it is needed so there is a data layer is required this is where database that's what generally we call this plan okay yeah oh i understood yeah. uh, sorry i think uh, i missed your uh, question but so sorry right so and this is no, what platform is uh, platform is database Okay. Oracle yeah. SQL like that example. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is second. Third is SaaS, which is software as a service. Software as a service means software as a service means we require a software to develop the application. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, for example, Salesforce. You can do Salesforce. You might have heard about this, right? Salesforce. Yeah, Salesforce and Sales... SAP. Yeah. Ah, right. Salesforce is a system application and companies also have Salesforce. Salesforce application. Salesforce application is majorly used for CRM. CRM. Mm -hmm. It's a software. Mm -hmm. It's a software. It's yeah. a software. Software as a services. Mm -hmm. These three services will be provided by the cloud service providers. Mm -hmm. Understood? This yeah, is yeah. how the transformation nowadays. Earlier it was mm -hmm. not that. Earlier it's only an on-premise application. Now it was transformed towards cloud services. Understood? Okay. Clear? And yeah. Yeah. Again, these services again categorized into three parts. One is public cloud. Second is private cloud. Third is hybrid cloud. Understand? Clear, right? Mm -hmm. Premium, premium services. It's very simple to understand. Premium services. Public cloud means this platform, this cloud can be used by any customer mm -hmm. 
any customer. Subject to condition is whatever are available. You don't have any specialized privileges. Public cloud means. Yeah. Understood, right? This is public mm -hmm. cloud. Mm -hmm. After public cloud, next is private cloud. What is private cloud? This can cloud be service apps, uh, cloud service provider will provide an exclusive space to make us ours to ours to make us to develop an application. Okay, they, they provide the, an exclusive space to you. If whatever the cloud infrastructure, if you want, everything will be provided by them, which is a premium. This is a premium service. It's a premium service. Normally financial institutions, right? So at the same time, healthcare organizations, they will hire private cloud services from the cloud service providers. Oh, okay. Private cloud Is it because, because of the security reasons? Absolutely. Right. So the, because mm -hmm. of the security, because healthcare data are very sensitive, mm -hmm. even banks data, right? so lacks of customer data available there. So normally okay. they don't go for public cloud. It mm -hmm. has its own securities, but end of the day, we see, see end of the day, Let's say, for example, you are working for an organization where you have some policies and rules and regulations which are binded with it, right? So yeah. whenever you are developing an application or whenever you are expecting someone to develop an application, you must abide to these rules. Mm. Agreed or not, right? So yeah. okay. even further, it depends on the kind of organization customer belongs to, the standards, whatever they follow. And Normally, they required some there is an organization structure and legacy was there. So uh -huh. they want to continue that, right? So what is that they require? They require some exclusive privileges. So for that, what they do? They hire clouds, private cloud services. Private cloud, cloud services are premium. Uh -huh. It is premium, right? So as per uh, as per your uh, uh, as per your uh, requirement, you know, they will give you. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. Third is Hybrid code, combination of both, sometimes. Understood? Clear? Right? So, these are the three. So, now, there is a long explanation I have given. So, why we have, why are we discussing? Because, because of this reason. Because software licenses and all everything will be cost clear. Okay, so nowadays what we are doing, we are moving towards cloud service provider. This is an explanation for that, right? Mm -hmm. Either either you are going for FTE or you are going for a uh, fixed bid and all everything. End of the day, that's absolutely of our choice. At the same time, we'll be to the customer. Mutually agreed, we move further. Yeah. Got it? Clear or not? Got it. Yes. Right, so this is where generally... Uh, fixed bit. So make sure in the fixed bit we have to complete the project without having any without having any uh, mm, delays further, right? So if there is mm. any delays and all everything, uh, then it is right. So this is fixed bit. Second is FT. FT stands for full time employment based on the requirement. We charge. on day basis at the same time based on the role cost billing vary understood right this is yeah. where fte means let's say for example to develop the project we require 30 manpower okay 30 mm -hmm. what normally organizations do 20 are permanent employees 10 people are contract. They'll mm -hmm. be taken. I'm giving you the rough figure, right? Not the exact yeah. same percentage. Yeah. Because, because if you are a permanent employee, then the benefits and all everything will be different. You say if it's a contract employee, then it is valid only for the particular contract. No, nothing more than that. So let's say that, yeah. for example, 20 
uh, 30 employees required. For 30 employees, combination of project manager, it can be architects, it can be uh, business analyst team, right? It can be development team, et cetera, all that, right? So it's all. So 20 are permanent employees. At the same time, maybe 10, 10 people may be contract employees. So end of the day, when we are developing a solution for the customer, whenever we submit the quotation to the customer, we give based on the role. For example, if it's a project manager role per day or per hour, right? Some XYZ amount is the billing, right? If it is architects, because architects, these are highly paid people. Yeah. These are highly paid people, architects and all. Even developers also to an extent. Because see, end of the day, you know very clear. So when whenever the bill raising on our name, right? So our jobs will be secured. So mm -hmm. yeah. aspiration. <laughs> there is a fun, mm -hmm. simple fundamental rule. Yeah. So usually that's the reason why we see a lot of job opportunities for developers on that. Because developer yes. is required for us to write the code, etc. So developer jobs for many when you are comparing to other jobs. Mm. Okay, that's a different thing. Right? So this is where generally billing will vary based on the people, how many we have taken. It can be per day, per, per hour or per day basis. Usually we will give the quotation to the customer. Negotiations will be taken place. So based on uh, the services, what we have, uh, what whatever we have uh, uh, agreed, right? Whatever we have agreed to the customer, followed by the cost and all everything. Finally, project will be finally project will be allotted. Okay. Even FTA also decided based on the uh, customer budget, right? Uh, Sometimes if customer is giving budget, then, then there is no point. Right? So for example, customer has some budgetary constraint, has he has specified it before, so then there is no point of uh, this thing, right? So uh, whatever the plan are we doing and all, that end, end of the day, that is absolutely of our, our side, right? So whether we are calculating, because see, if customer is giving the wholesome budget, then how much are we paying to the employees and all everything, a vendor will take care of, vendor will choose. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. so, but make sure because here also we cannot because earlier it was different but nowadays if you see when you go for uh, interviews at all there will be some client interviews also going on mm -hmm. client will also see because it yeah, doesn't mean true. that you cannot uh, hire anyone uh, whoever uh, are there in the market that's not possible right? yeah. nowadays yeah. end of the day client interview once the client is accepted then only person will be taken to that particular account it means client okay. account I mean they will be recruited Otherwise, okay. because otherwise, what will happen? There are possibilities. Even a vendor can hire a person with for a less cost, hmm. less charges. For example, a person came for a less amount. There hmm. are possibilities. Sometimes the person may not be technically strong. Hmm. Right? Hmm. So if he is okay. not performing well, end of the day, who is going to lose initially? It is impacting on the project. Right? Yeah. It may delay sometimes. It may be failed. Right. Hmm. So nowadays. Uh, Clients were taking all precautionary measures, right? Whoever is working for their account, for example, account, usually we call it as account, right? Some yeah. bank customer, some XYZ customer mm. account, right? Like a Samsung account, LJ, like that, right? So account. Mm. account. So for that account, whoever employees to work and all. So if there is any recruitment and if there is any hiring going on, client will also entering nowadays. And they see whether if they feel that this person is qualified enough to provide services for my project to work for, mm -hmm. then only vendor has uh, vendor can uh, recruit. That's how the situation was changed. That's how it is. Understood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. finally, project will be allotted. Here, what is that we have to? We have to give a SLA. Mm -hmm. SLA. From vendor to client, oh. which SLA stands for service level agreement. Ultimate, yeah. Okay, service level. We call it a service level agreement. Service level agreement means we are accepting for so and so cost, so and so infrastructure we are using. These are the services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
there must be a written agreement should be given to the customer. And then only from there onwards, officially projects will kick start. Understood, madam? Clear? Right? Yes. Yeah. So what kind of applications? Again, because when whenever we want to decide the cost, right? So project planning and all, different, different things will be comes into picture. What kind of applications we are developing? For example, it's a web application, client server application. It can be an enterprise application. It can be a cloud application, a standalone applications. No, no, because it's world in this. No. So there are different types of applications. What kind of customers we are developed? What kind of, for uh, what kind of customers we are developing the projects, and what kind of projects are these? Because some projects were internal projects, some are external projects. What's the difference? Let's say if you are taking member management system, right? Let's say our healthcare projects into take consideration. What is member management application? This is being used both by the by the Healthcare organizations, payers at the same time. This is both used by the customer or okay. patients, yeah, also. customer and patient yeah. also. So yeah. users are both. Both are the users, mm. right? Some applications like this. Mm. Some applications, for example, uh, when we work on healthcare projects, we have uh, uh, claims management system, claim adjudication, all that. Right, so these applications mm -hmm. used by the internal yes. team of the organization, yes. internal applications. Yeah, yeah. Let's say, for example, patient management portal, something like Epic Software, etc. All that. So mm -hmm. these are used by the customers also, right? Customer can book appointment on that, right? So commercial applications. Mm -hmm. So there are different different applications which are available nowadays. Okay, so when there is a budget, we have we have identified. So when there is any plan of strategy to develop the project, we decide there are a lot of things will be taken into consideration. What kind of client, which domain they belongs to, how immediate customer is expecting us to develop the solution. Are we developing an application from the scratch or is an existing application where we are making changes out of it? Or is this something like a data migration project kind of stuff? For example, you are migrating from legacy systems to the new application and all data migration is required. So to do the data migration, of course, there are stages that I'll discuss it later. Ours is not data migration, what we have taken, but I'll tell you, because if there is any data migration at all, what steps will be taken? I'll explain in coming sessions to you. There are some sure. steps to be followed, because keep mm -hmm. that into account. When you go for an entry, it is useful to you, because yeah, they may definitely. ask you, they may ask you, what are the stages you have come across when you mm -hmm. have done the data migration, right? What are the steps you have taken? Right, so how you did it? So yeah. there are some four to five steps are there for data migration where you have to explain that. And coming okay. days, I'll explain that to you so that you can have an idea. Right, so, so this, this is uh, uh, like a member management or like uh, provider management applications. These mm -hmm. are like a standard standard one application. No, no, like no, we shouldn't say standalone. Stand there is oh. a there is a standalone. Let me see. Um, ah, you are talking about on premise. Okay, right. You are asking from. Is it on premise? Is this what you are asking me? On premise? Uh, this is on premise only, mm. but uh, a standalone application means like. Ah, a... ah, I'll tell you. Standalone application means whatever the three layers I told you, right? These three oh. layers. This will be this done in three... one, one system. Okay. Ah, one application. This, uh, for example, Excel, Microsoft Excel, mm -hmm. all that. Those okay. are we call it a standalone applications. Okay. The kind of architecture what is our we use is called singletary architecture. Those are mm -hmm. old in days. Nowadays we are not using any uh, standalone applications. Not okay. On premise, okay. the right word is on premise. On premise application. On premise means application you are developing and deploying in the client location, where application will be in the client side, where okay. they will be using for their purpose. But it's not the case. For example, whatever the example I have taken, right? So this project we have taken uh, in the beginning, right? This application can be a cloud application also. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can simply, you just tell them that it's a cloud application. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. See, what is the difference only? You are, you are using a cloud environment to develop the application. Oh, okay. If it's not okay. cloud environment, it's an on-premise application. What is the difference? How it is different means only that. That's only the difference. Okay. okay. See, for example, any application, either it could be whatever application you are taking. So uh -huh. either it can be an on-premise 
you can develop or else you can develop a cloud application cloud application okay so being a expert if you want to explain this to an entry and all everything how it is different if it's an on premise application you don't need to discuss about cloud and all everything and they don't ask you also anything mm. relating to the cloud whenever you say about cloud for example if you mm. say that this application we developed this is a cloud application for example you said that so mm. there are some questions they may ask you right which cloud service provider you have used to what yeah. extent you have a knowledge over the cloud services which which services you have taken from the cloud service provider right either mm -hmm. it is infrastructure services you have taken platform you have taken software you have taken any one okay. two three right so yeah. what was your role to what extent being a business analyst when you are working for this healthcare projects you have an idea over the cloud services and all right so on yeah. what basis you have chosen the cloud service provider what are the basis because sometime back you have asked me the question right that at that point right on what basis cloud service provider we have chosen right so yeah. those kind of questions we come across and of the day it's all our personal assessment right so whether is it something to say end of the i think uh, this this we um, i think this is what we have taken a mobile application right <laughs> that i think in the beginning yeah mobile application yeah, yeah. we have forgotten right mobile application it says so then uh, nothing of it it's a mobile application mobile you application it, it will be not like cloud application uh, mobile application means for mobile purposes you are developing it app app related kind yeah. of. it's you are developing okay. an app kind of mobile application mm -hmm. means app app related okay so member management application it could be like uh, uh, not only mobile right okay. uh, web application also should be yes there, right? yes yeah web First application web majorly web, web application. application yeah majorly yeah. web application any application mm -hmm. is a web application using internet or using your laptop or a desktop yeah second stages second stage, is, second stage yeah. is mobile mobile application yeah. second stage is mobile if not uh, system and laptop i can use mobile that is mobile application third is tablet so, tablets tabs tablet correct. that is third so yeah if a web application was developed like uh, on cloud so even mobile also mobile application also will be the same right mobile application it's an app right so app can be installed in the systems in the devices okay. of the mobiles mm -hmm. then see the, cloud uh, is a okay. service provider see correct. cloud is a yeah. service provider mm -hmm. it's, see, a it's very service. simple oh. madam see it's very simple mm -hmm. earlier i'll tell you Earlier in the mm -hmm. beginning days, whenever we used to have, use mobiles, there is no possibility for us to save the space of the space for the mobile numbers on that. Do you know mm. that? Right? You know yeah. that. Yeah. We used yeah. to use QWERTY keypad mobiles. What is that we used mm -hmm. to do? We used to write it in a piece of paper. So whenever mm -hmm. we are buying a new mobile, we used to type and we used to save. That's how the situation earlier. Am I right? Mm. Mm. Now, yeah. what about now? For example, for some reason, you lost the mobile or someone lost the mobile. Somewhere mm -hmm. it was theft, whatever it is, reason. What, what yeah. we can do? Because whenever you, you can... are taking a mobile, you are uh, registering in the cloud account. Samsung cloud account, okay. you are registering. Or iPhone cloud account, you are registering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whatever the data you have, you are using in your data, everything is in your cloud. Cloud, yeah. So be It could be whatever the device. It can be an iPhone, it can be mm -hmm. Samsung, it can be something else, right? Mm -hmm. so the data is in the cloud. So mm -hmm. if you lost the mobile, no problem, right? Buy the new mobile. You can log into your account. Simply yeah. log into yeah. your account. You, all the data will be appeared. Mm -hmm. Cloud is that, right? Cloud mm -hmm. means it's a service provider for you. Cloud is a service provider, right? Okay. Whatever okay. the services you want, they will provide mm -hmm. you. You, okay. don't you don't need to manage in your premises. Because mm -hmm. in your premises means you required uh, some space to manage all that, right? You required at least you have to take some space. For that, you mm -hmm. have to pay some rent, right? You yeah, require yeah. some firewalls. You require some systems, workstations, maintenance, mm -hmm. right? So you required some administrator people to do that, right? Mm -hmm. This is all yeah. an expensive thing. Expensive mm -hmm. and uh, it is typical to handle all that, right? If some there is a loss of data happens sometimes, right? So, these are all something um, because see when when we are working for some projects especially banking projects all that um, especially healthcare you know in our healthcare projects also data is highly 
sensitive data is highly sensitive and there are laws also you know that right so because mm -hmm. people can uh, sue on the company right so because if there is yeah. their data leak right, there are a lot of uh, rules and regulations policies are there uh -huh. so uh, companies don't never take chances especially in reference to that so even if yeah. it's a premium account they will be going for that so okay. it's a, when it comes to a mobile application, our application, whatever we are taking, member management application, it's a mobile application we are developing, right? Mm -hmm. that, that application cloud, uh, we, may be, we may be connecting this cloud services also to store the data. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. What else it can be? Yeah. Going all. forward, we have to think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. It's I a will mobile discuss. application. Yeah. I'll, I'll sure. give you the detail and, part. I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Next. And what about this Microsoft 365 Dynamics? So ah, is it? Like... Yeah. 365 Dynamics is a CRM. It's something like a Salesforce. Oh, okay. Sounds... See, okay. CRM. It is it is CRM application. Microsoft Dynamics is a CRM application. Uh -huh. Something like Salesforce. Okay. Salesforce is also a CRM application. Microsoft Dynamics is also a CRM application. Why, why oh. CRM? Because you want to manage your customer relationship, right? So you need to identify the customer records, right? You need to manage it. You need to address their queries. You have to solve their problems. Uh -huh. But how, how do we do it? We can't do it manually. Am I right? Yeah. There are some applications we require. Some products. We built applications. Products. Yeah. What products it is? Nowadays, we are using a lot of products. Prominent is two. One is Salesforce. Uh -huh. Second is Dynamics. Okay. Salesforce CRM. Uh, Salesforce uses by some people. Dynamics will be used by, so for example, people are registered to Microsoft products for a long time. Hmm. So they go for Dynamics, simple. Yeah. See, I'm, okay. I, for example, my company, myself, we are using Microsoft products for a very long time, wherein we are registered to that. Emotionally, okay. we have a connect. Mm -hmm. right. so if I want to use CRM, the first thing which has come to my mind is Dynamics. Right. So to what extent financially it is viable, infrastructure-wise, that comes next. Okay. So on what basis CRM application was chosen by the organization depends on different factors, depends on the cost, depends on the infrastructure, depends on the services they are providing in it. Lot of things involved in it. There is okay. no one and two. Okay. Next. So to develop mobile applications, so what and all we require, like uh, infrastructures, any? Mobile application, you require app, iOS. You require iOS That's platform, it. right? iOS services okay. you require. Oh, so, or okay. it's an Android, Android or iOS, right? So if it is mobile, regular, uh, this thing, you know, we are going for Android, okay? Oh, Android. so that is a different path, I guess, iOS, right? From yes, this... mobile applications, iOS, uh, all okay. that. So applications. Okay. Yeah. It's an application, it's an app. Mobile is an app. App, you okay. have an app. Right. So wherein okay. it was customized in such a way where you can use it in your mobile. Okay. Yeah. Right. The same application, you can use it in the web also, in internet also. Right. That application is different. Okay. So even for, that's what the reason, if you remember in the beginning, before this session to session, yesterday we have not taken session, day before yesterday, mm. whenever we discussed, yeah. if you remember, I told you about web services. If yeah, you remember, correct. I told you, right. Mm -hmm. Let's say, yeah. for example, this application Assume that, for example, this application, we have web application, okay? Now we are mm -hmm. planning to develop mobile. Mm -hmm. We are planning to develop tab-based, tab tablet-based. We are planning to develop a cloud-based, for example. I'm just giving mm -hmm. an example. So what we have to do, what dev development people have to do, whatever the business logic they have to implement, so they have to write programming, business logic and all for four applications. Which, mm. is in, which is expensive and uh, at the same time it is uh, excessive work. Am I right? right? Yeah. So what they do, simply they can create a web service so that that web services can be used by the development team and they can use it in wherever it is required, they can use it. That's how the transformation happened. Okay. Did you got my point clear? Yes. Yes. So, did you go through this? Uh, uh, what I shared you, Raj, like 